Welcome back to today's video on Chemistry Made Easy with Brent Eddy. In today's video lesson, I'll be teaching on the Faraday's Law of Electrolysis, where I'll be focusing on just the first law. Now, the first law under the Faraday's Law of Electrolysis states that the mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity that passes through the electrolyte. Now, this statement can be mathematically written to be, I said, for the Faraday's first law of electrolysis, it states that the mass of a substance deposited during electrolysis is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity. This is quantity of electricity and this is the mass of the substance. Now, bringing in a constant, this equation changes to M, which is mass, is equal to KQ. And it must be noted that this K will be changed to a symbol and it is Z. So we write it to be mass is equal to ZQ. And recall what is mass? Sorry, what is M? M is mass. And what is Q? Q is quantity of electricity. Okay, Q is quantity of electricity. And what is Z? Z as a name, and it is called electrochemical equivalent. It is called electrochemical equivalent. So, it must be noted that Q, which is quantity of electricity, has its own formula, and Q, which is quantity of electricity, is equal to IT. What is I? I is current, and current should be in what SI units? Current should be in ampere. And what is T? T is time, and time should be in what SI unit? Time should be in seconds. So you can see here I wrote mass is equal to ZQ. So definitely I can change this Q to be what IT. So lastly, we get the equation for the first law of Faraday's electrolysis to be mass is equal to ZIT because I've changed this Q to IT because Q, which is quantity of electricity, is equal to what our current times time. Current should be in amperes and time should be in seconds. So this formula is very, very important when solving problems under the first law of Faraday's electrolysis. We have to take note of this formula. So in the course of today's video, I'll be solving practice problems that explains this formula. Now, here is the first question we'll be solving under this aspect. Now, the question says, calculate the electrochemical equivalent of a metal. Now, looking at this formula, which of them is the electrochemical equivalent? This is the electrochemical equivalent. Now, calculate the electrochemical equivalent of a metal that will deposit 2.7 grams. This already becomes the mass of the metal when a current of 15 ampere. So this automatically becomes the symbol I, which is current, is passed for two hours, whereby this is the Time. So let's bring out the parameters out. Um, the question says calculate electrochemical equivalent. So we write the formula to be mass is equal to Z I T. Making Z subject of formula which is the electrochemical equivalent, we divide by the coefficient of Z, divide both sides by the coefficient of Z, which is I T. So I T cancels I T. So definitely Z becomes mass. Okay, mass all over I T. And the mass in the question is given to be 2.7 grams over what is the current? 15 amperes times what is the time? Recall I said the time should be in seconds. 
not in hours or minutes. So we have to convert two hours to seconds. How do we convert two hours to seconds? It must be noted that it must be noted that to convert two hours to seconds, we just say two hours times 60 minutes times 60 seconds. Just take note. To convert hours to seconds, we times by two sixties. 60 and 60. But to convert hours to minutes, we just times by just 160. But to convert hours to seconds, we times by 260. So when we do that, we get 2 times 60 times 60, that is 7,200. So automatically we get 7,200 seconds. So you can see the value for the second we have to impute here, which is 7,200 seconds, not these two hours, because I said, the time SIU should be in seconds. So let's quickly divide to get the value for the electrochemical equivalent, which is 2.7 all over 15 times 7,200, which is equal to 2.5 times 10 raised power of minus 5. So this is the electrochemical equivalent of metal. You can see how questions on this aspect are being solved so easily. So the next question here, you'll be solving it and you provide the answer in the comment section below. If you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share this video with your friends. Now, here is the question you'll be solving and you provide the answer in the comment section below. The question says, determine the mass of a metal. Given that the metal passed through a current of 10 amperes for 193 seconds and they've given us the Z, and recall, I said Z is called electrochemical equivalent, so you get the answer without stress. So here, I think you don't, you don't need to make anything subject. Okay, mass, which you're asking us to get, is already made subject in the formula, and you just impute parameters and get the correct answer. Okay, if you like this video, do well to hit the subscribe button and also share my videos with your friends. Thank you very much, and God bless.